Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror comedy from Ireland, English language, released in the year 2020, directed by Chris Ball, and this film is called Boys from County Hell. So Boys from County Hell is about a, a young man who wants, who dreams to move out of this very secluded village that he lives in. He works in a bar that has uh, a lot of fame because it's said that Bram Stoker used to drink here. And so the whole town has a, an idea of vampirism behind it, and it, draw, it draws a lot of tourists. And so this young man, he's living his days just drinking alcohol with his friends, and then one day he, he takes some tourists out to the grave of Abatak. Now Abatak is said to be a legendary Irish vampire, and this is where he's buried. And that Abatak has been able to be controlled because as long as he's buried under this mound of rocks, he will never go out and cause horror again. But then one day uh, something happens where Abatak's grave is destroyed, and then strange things start to happen to this town, which makes the purists believe that Abatak is responsible and so whether or not this village is under attack is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Boys from County Hell. Initially I, I wanted to see this movie quite a while ago. It was said to be released on Shudder but Shudder Australia never had it on their catalogue and so that was a great disappointment so I was waiting for it to be released on DVD. I like vampire films and when the vampire film is done right they can be very effective and so I finally got the opportunity to purchase it on DVD and what I got from Boys from County Hell was a very creative, very fun vampire horror comedy. I thought the horror aspect was very good. Uh, you know, the vampire genre is very uh, generic and has been done so many times. They're flogging a cash cow as far as generic material is concerned. But this movie manages to create its own spin. And I thought the spin of Abatak and the, the changes of vampirism and the lore of vampirism I thought was really fun. And so it was something a little bit different, but it stays true to the core of what makes a vampire. And for that, I really appreciate what Chris Bohr actually produced. He produced an Irish version of what the vampire is. And so traditional vampire enthusiasts, you might not like the fact that it does go in a different direction, but for me, in such a generic subgenre that is very, very tired, it's a breath of fresh air to see something a little bit different. But as I said, it stays true to the core values of what a vampire film is. So the overall aspect of you know, this vampire and what happens and the, their own laws it does stand out and cause a shadow of its own, which is something that I really appreciated. And so you also got the level of humour that I thought worked very, very well. The script was really witty, very, very smart. If you like British and Irish humour, you're definitely going to like this movie. I thought so the characters were larger than life. And so it does have that alleviating process when you're laughing at things that are, are you not supposed to laugh at, which is everything that dark humour is. And yes, the characters are larger than life and their reactions to certain events aren't quite realistic. But the movie never wants to ha have a lot of real as I said, it's that horror comedy aspect where it takes you into a very surreal world where it's almost like a different dimension. And so you're, you're reveling in the sheer insanity that Boys from County Hell produces. And so the gore effects I thought were really well done. I thought the suspenseful, uh, suspenseful set pieces were fantastic. It actually had me on edge quite a few times. And so that level of anticipation and the explosion of gore I thought worked really well together. And it just creates a movie that was both funny and actually quite scary in some instances. And so the overall very creepy vibe that the film has the fact that you have that Bram Stoker thrown into this film. It's a, it's a love letter to vampire movies. It's a love letter to the vampire lore. And so for that, I really appreciate what this movie produces. So it's a very a short sort of film. It's only an hour and 90 odd minutes. So it never outstays its welcome. Everything is done in a very, very competent way. My only issue with the film is that it's not overly long lasting. Once you see it once, you probably not want to go and see it again. It's because it does the creativity very well, but after a while you start to feel as that, okay, well, it was a lot of fun, it was very crazy, but a little bit too crazy for its own good because you never really get connected with the characters as much as you would if it was a more serious uh, you know, leveled film. But pushing that aside, it never wants to be serious. It achieves exactly what it wants to be. It wants to be a horror comedy. Both the horror aspect and the comedic aspect were fantastic. They never outweigh the other, so it's a fine blend, and it's one of the rare occasions where a horror comedy is executed very, very well. So if it sounds like your cup of tea, it's not a great film, but it's a lot of fun. And if you are a vampire fan, I definitely feel as though this is a must see. So overall, for Boys and K Hell, going to give this one three and a half stars. Go out there and see it. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.